today, I'm going to demonstrate camels for you. I'm going to do the upright camel as well as the sideways camel. I'll just show you what they both look like to begin with. So we've got the sideways on one. And now the upright one. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so let's start with breaking down the sideways on camel. And if you've seen the clip of the vertical eight, you'll see that it's very similar. We're just maybe doing it on one side. So, first of all, I'm going to demonstrate what's happening with the feet. You're going to have one heel up and one foot flat, okay? The hip you're using, so in this case I'm going to start off using my left hip, you're going to walk towards the right. So whichever hip you're using, think of the opposite side. So push off with the heel high on the same hip you're using. So the feet are just that, three, four. Then swap, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four, one, two, three, four. So now we'll put the hip into it. So heel up. We're going to just drop the hip, slide, lift up and into the body. Do that again. Drop the hip, slide along, up and into the body. So the important part here is when you drop the hip and you slide that it is a straight line. The hip's not going up, the hip's not going down. Drop, along, up and in. When your hip gets to the top, that's when you take your step. But of course it has to all be fluid. Joining up the dots, down, along, up and in. Down, along, up and in. Down, along, up and in, over. Down along, up and in, over, and three, and four. And then you're just going to transfer the weight now. Push down on the ball of the right foot. Push your hip out, up and in as you raise the heel. Two, three, four. And change, two, three, and four. And change, two, three, and four. One, two, three. And then it's quite nice to go into that vertical eight because it blends so well. Okay, so now for the breakdown of the upright camel. So again, this is a move where there's a few things going on. So I'm just going to start with the pelvis first of all, just concentrate on that. And you can actually make it a figure of eight. So this is what you want your pelvis to do throughout the camel. Okay, so we're going to start off with the pelvis pointing down and your bottom up. So you've got an arch in your back. And we'll just put one foot in front of the other, tummy in. And you're going to hold that position as you push your pelvis forward. Okay, when you get to the front, then tuck your bottom under and come back. When you get to the back, let your bottom out and go forward. Tuck it under and come back. Let it out and go forward. Now, when you're moving along, your pelvis will fight with you the whole way and will try to switch and just drop down. So you have to use your brain in this as well because you have to think where is the pelvis. So let your bottom up to go forward. Just keep it up until you've got to the end. Tuck it under, come back. Let your bottom up, go forward, 
tuck it under to come back. And you can see, um, lo and behold, yet another eight. So that's what the pelvis is doing. Now when I'm demonstrating, um, there might have been some movement with the top half of the body, um, but whenever you actually do your camel, you want to obviously isolate as much as possible. So making sure that the pelvis is moving, but that you're not moving the whole body. Okay, be very careful about that and just make sure that the pelvis is doing the work. Okay, so now we're going to move up to the wave. Now this move can be done without the tummy wave, so if you haven't mastered that yet, you can still make the move look very nice. Uh, it, of course, it is lovely to have the tummy wave in it as well. Uh, and you will see it on one of my other clips uh, if you want to know how to do the tummy wave. Tummy wave is muscle movement, so you do have to practice it. It doesn't mean you have any special gift or great ability if you can do a tummy wave. It just means you've had the patience perhaps to practice it a few times. You need to do 10 or 20 a day for a few weeks and then you really should be getting somewhere with it. Um, but you want to go, for the camel move, you want to go in at the top and out at the bottom. Okay. So then the next thing we want to look at is what is happening uh, with the feet. It has to be done on the balls of the feet, so your heels are up. Uh, what also looks nice is to just drop the heel and then lift up, drop the heel and then lift up. Um, you can of course do it with the heels both up all the time, or you can drop and up, drop and up, drop and up drop and up. One other thing to bear in mind with this is that you can also use the rib cage. I don't use it really very much because I think it's a little bit too much but if you wanted to use the rib cage in the move um, it would be forwards, up, back, down. Forwards, up, back, down. So then if you join up the dots, smooth it out, go in at the top, so there's a lot going on there. Forwards, up, back, down. And that's your right 